Bakari Driss Basari is a man full of enthusiasm despite his mediocre life. One day, Driss took an interview to become a nurse. He will take care of someone named Philippe. Philippe was paralyzed, but he was also a very rich man. Unlike the other prospective nurses, it turns out that the reason Driss took part in the interview was not to become Philippe's nurse, but so that Driss could get a signature of proof of attendance at the interview, so that she could disperse the aid fund from the government. In the middle of the interview, Driss argues with Philippe and clashes over knowledge of music. Driss also seduces Philippe's assistant, Magali. Seeing Driss's annoying behavior, at first, Philippe wanted to reject Driss. But out of pity, Philippe promised that tomorrow he would sign Driss's interview. After the interview, Driss will go home. But before he went home, he took one of the decorative eggs at Philippe's house. After that, Driss returned to his small house which was very crowded, because he lived with his other siblings. When his mother came home from work, she was furious, because it turned out that Driss had been missing for six months. Not only that, his mother was also upset when she found out that Driss was still unemployed. Driss's mother was upset to see her eldest son could not be relied on, so the mother kicked Driss out of the house. The next day, Driss went to Philippe's mansion again to get his interview letter. But there, Driss was surprised to hear the story from the head nurse named Yvonne. According to Yvonne, many nurses had come and gone quickly, because they couldn't stand it after two weeks of work. Although the working hours are long, which is 24 hours, they are supported by very comfortable facilities, such as luxurious rooms and a delicious food menu every day. And on that day, unexpectedly, Philippe suddenly decided to hire Driss for a month as a probationary period. Because Driss was unemployed and had nothing else to do, he was even kicked out by his mother, so Driss accepted Philippe's decision. On Driss's first day working as a nurse, he often made mistakes. Driss fell asleep while massaging Philippe, Driss cleaned Philippe's feet using shampoo, and accidentally spilled hot water on Philippe's numb feet. Then, Driss was assigned to clean Philippe's ass. Driss got emotional and refused to do it, vowing that in his entire life he would never do that out of disgust. Finally, the task was done by another nurse. However, Driss's duties continued. The next day, when Driss was about to take Philippe to the painting gallery, he refused to use a car that looked like an ambulance. Finally, Driss chose another car that was more luxurious. <laughs> When he got there, Driss was confused because Philippe had been staring at an abstract painting for an hour. Whereas for Driss, it is just a random painting. After looking at the painting for a very long time, Philippe then intended to buy the abstract painting at a price of 41,000 euros. Driss was shocked. But he knew that Philippe was very rich. Some time later, there was a colleague of Philippe who told him to be careful with Driss, because it turned out that Driss had just been released from prison for stealing. He also said that Driss was a rude and delinquent person. But Philippe said that Driss wasn't as bad as he said it was because Philippe was very satisfied with Driss' work. Philippe also shared one of Driss's strengths, who is good at entertaining people in unexpected ways. The next day, Driss discovers Philippe's secret which makes him quite shocked. It turned out that Philippe had always liked to send letters to a woman named Eleanor. And from that moment, Driss became very curious about the special relationship between Philippe and Eleanor. Some time later, Driss saw Philippe who was short of breath and had a fever due to the side effects of his medication. Philippe needed some fresh air. And swiftly, Driss immediately took Philippe out in a wheelchair even though Driss was still sleepy at that time. Shortly after, Driss took Philippe around Paris to enjoy the beautiful scenery before sunrise. While walking around, Driss gives Philippe marijuana as a treatment, in order to reduce Philippe's pain. At that time, Driss asked about Philippe and Eleonore's relationship. Driss was confused how Philippe could be so intimate with a woman, when his whole body was numb and completely paralyzed. Philippe also replied that all this time he could feel the romantic touch of a woman through his ears. Philippe also talked about his fond memories with his dead wife. His wife, Alice, was a very kind woman. Philippe was very happy with her 25 years of marriage. But Alice lost a lot of blood during the miscarriage and eventually died. Since then, Philippe adopted a daughter named Elisa. Philippe then said that actually, it wasn't this disease that made him feel miserable. But what made him suffer even more was the fact that Alice was gone for good. Philippe also said that although he regularly undergoes treatment at a very expensive cost, he is still estimated to live until 70 years old only. After a warm chat with Driss, Philippe finally asked Driss to be his permanent nurse, because Driss had made it through the probationary period well. But at the same time, Philippe also asked Driss to return the decorative egg from Alice. Philippe found out that Driss often stole things at his house. But Driss even said that he didn't know about the eggs Philippe was referring to. When in fact, Driss forgot where to put the egg. The next day, Driss picked up his siblings from school. But on the way, he stopped first at the police station, because one of Driss's brothers was involved in a marijuana case. Fortunately, Driss's younger brother, Adama, was released because he was still a minor. At Philippe's house, Driss sees Magali helping Philippe write a poem for Eleanor. Driss then made fun of him, because the poem only contained gibberish. 
But Driss was surprised to learn that Philippe had never met Eleonore. The two of them have been dating for six months. Annoyed with their unclear relationship, Driss then called Eleonore. After being forced by Driss, Philippe finally dared to talk to Eleonore by phone. Philippe also sent his photo to Eleonore. Some time later, while they were watching an opera, Driss told Philippe that he shouldn't feel inferior about his physical flaws, because nowadays, girls prefer rich guys over physically perfect ones. Their moments together felt very close and warm. Day after day passed by. Until one day, Driss rages because Philippe's daughter is rude to him. But apparently, Elise's disrespectful attitude was not only towards Driss, but also to all Philippe's servants in the house. Driss then asked Philippe's permission to teach his daughter a lesson, so that Elisa could learn a lesson and want to change. But Philippe forbade Driss to do that, because he felt bad for Elisa. Annoyed at Philippe's overindulgence in his daughter, Driss went straight to his room feeling very upset. Then, Driss is seen painting an abstract painting that he used to find strange. On the other hand, thanks to the encouragement from Driss, Philippe is now starting to have the courage to tell his daughter to be more polite to others. After that, Driss went back to his routine as Philippe's nurse. But something is different. Previously, Driss took his duties seriously intensely. But now, he carried out his duties more relaxed and enjoyably, as if taking care of Philippe had become his own entertainment. As time went on, Driss and Philippe's relationship became closer. At that time, Philippe was going to have a birthday party. But before that day comes, Philippe tells Driss that he is tired of his family treating him like a dying person. Indirectly, Philippe hinted that he was getting comfortable with Driss who treated him more humanely. Philippe's birthday party was finally held. Philippe had hired an orchestra to celebrate his party. On the other hand, Driss saw Elisa who was locking herself in the room crying. Driss then approached her and asked why she was crying. Elisa said that she had just been dumped by her boyfriend, Bastian. Elisa then asked Driss to talk to Bastian. At first, Driss refused because he didn't want to interfere in their relationship. But after Elisa said that she would give Driss quite a lot of money, Driss finally agreed. On the other hand, Philippe was offering Driss's abstract painting to his friend. The painting sold for 11,000 euros. Then, Driss asked everyone there to join in the dance. Driss did this to cheer up Philippe. Because according to Driss, during the birthday party, Philippe looked bored. And it turns out that Driss managed to make Philippe laugh out loud and happy. After the party ended, Driss escorted Philippe to his room. There, Driss gave a reply letter from Eleonore. It turns out that in the letter, Eleonore promised Philippe that she would go to Paris next week to meet Philippe. Not only that, Eleonore also gave her beautiful photos. Philippe was so happy that he couldn't sleep all night. The day Philippe had been waiting for arrived. Philippe prepared to meet Eleonore accompanied by Yvonne. On the other hand, Driss managed to make Bastian apologize to Elisa for breaking up their relationship. After that, he went to where his mother worked. But because he still felt guilty, Driss could only stare at his mother from a distance and then leave. On the other hand, Philippe was waiting for Eleonore. Philippe was nervous for fear that Eleonore would be disappointed when he saw his crippled state. Finally, out of nervousness, Philippe decided to leave from there. But unfortunately, when Philippe had just left, he accidentally crossed paths with Eleonore. But Philippe didn't realize that it was Eleonore, the beautiful and elegant woman who was passing beside him. Day after day passed. Philippe kept trying to forget Eleonore. Until one day, he invited Driss to come with him on a private plane. On the plane, Philippe gave Driss 11,000 euros. The money is from the sale of the painting that was successfully sold. Philippe also said that Driss was very good at abstract painting. The next day they spent traveling and sightseeing while enjoying time together. Now they are no longer like bosses and employees, but are like close friends. As they return home, Driss meets Adama, one of his younger brothers. Adama comes to Driss's workplace because he was kicked out of the house by his mother after being caught in a marijuana case. Driss was annoyed and scolded Adama for always making a mess. Shortly after, Driss was summoned by Philippe to his room. There, Philippe began to inquire about Driss's past and personal life. Then, Driss began to tell Philippe that he was an orphan from Senegal, Africa, who was adopted when he was eight years old. The person that Driss had called mother all along, turned out to be his aunt. Actually, Driss' real name is Bakari. While Adama is also a child born without a father, because Driss' aunt often came home late at night and she became pregnant out of wedlock. Hearing the story of Driss's dark past, Philippe had mixed feelings. All this time, Driss always looks happy. But it turns out he has a sad story. Philippe then told Driss to stop being a nurse so he could focus on fixing his personal problems first, so he could work more calmly. Another reason Philippe fired Driss was because he wanted Driss to be more successful by working elsewhere. Philippe didn't want Driss to be just a nurse forever. Philippe also said that Driss's treatment so far has been very satisfying. Philippe actually didn't want Driss to have to go. But that night, as a friend, Philippe did it for the good of Driss. In the morning, when Driss was about to leave Philippe's house, all the nurses there were sad. Driss's presence at Philippe's house has brought happiness and joy. 
In the end, they all parted. Driss and his brother, Adama, then left Philippe's house. On the way home, they intend to pick up their mother who just got home from work. Driss and Adama then apologized to their mother and immediately helped carry their mother's bag. No matter how angry the mother was, who had kicked out her two children, the mother would still forgive Driss and Adama. Then, the three of them walked together and headed home. Some time later, Driss applied for a job as a courier at a company. On the other hand, Philippe had a new nurse. But the current nurse is not like Driss who treats Philippe with laughter. Now, Philippe seemed to be more silent, as if he wasn't comfortable and no one else could comfort him like before. Until at night, Philippe experienced shortness of breath. The nurse tried to help Philippe, but he didn't want to. Yvonne finally decides to meet Driss so he can take care of Philippe back to how he used to be. The next day, Driss came to Philippe's house to see how he was. Seeing Driss back again, Philippe was both happy and sad. But there, Driss immediately teased Philippe's appearance who now had a very thick beard and mustache. For a moment, they were nostalgic as before. Some time later, Driss took Philippe somewhere. On the way, Driss quickly drove his car, until they were both arrested by the police for speeding. But there, Driss took advantage of Philippe by telling the cops that Philippe was in need of urgent help. In the end, the police did not arrest them, but instead escorted them both to the hospital. When they arrived at their destination, and when the cops had left, Driss took Philippe to a faraway place to spend some time together. It turns out that Driss took Philippe to a beach to get fresh air and enjoy the beauty of nature that Philippe had not felt in his luxurious house for a long time. The next day, Driss took Philippe out for lunch at a restaurant. But when Driss had just sat down in front of Philippe, he immediately said that he had to leave immediately because he had something important to do. Before leaving, Driss gave Philippe the egg he had stolen from his house. Later, Driss told Philippe that a special person would be coming to see Philippe. After that, Driss immediately left, leaving Philippe alone. After Driss left, Philippe was very confused and nervous, because he didn't know who that special person Driss was talking about. After Driss left, suddenly a very beautiful woman appeared. The woman then sat down in front of Philippe. And it turned out that the woman was Eleanor. Secretly, Driss had planned Philippe and Eleanor's meeting, because actually Driss knew that Philippe still had feelings for that woman. From a distance, Driss saw the two of them meeting for the first time. He smiled happily as he said that this was the last gift he could give to Philippe as a friend.